Hello, I am Marina, and in this video, I am going to show you how to apply Neural Designer, a machine learning software, to solve an engineering issue. The topic of this example is the energy generated by a combined cycle power plant. In this plant, the electricity is generated by gas and steam turbines. Their performance is influenced by environmental factors, such as the temperature or the humidity. We will build a model that will predict the energy output based on these variables to improve the performance of the plant. The data file that we will be using is available in the Neural Designer website. We can open it and see that it has more than 9,500 samples. Nowadays, power plants store their data for a long time. This means that we can obtain this dataset without any additional cost. The file has four different attributes, ambient temperature, atmospheric pressure, and relative humidity from the gas turbine, and exhaust vacuum from the steam turbine. The last column is the target variable, which is the energy production. Then we open Neural Designer. In the main tab, we have three options for creating a new project. An approximation model, a classification model, or a forecasting model. In this case, we want to predict the numerical value of the energy generated. So we choose the approximation model. After creating the project, the first thing to do is import the dataset we have downloaded. Once it is imported, we can see a preview of the data with a number of columns and instances. In the next table, we have what type of data each variable is. It is important to choose the target variable in our case, the energy output. Now we will study our data to have a better understanding of it. A key aspect is calculating the column distributions. We have a histogram for each variable. For example, we can see that for most of the data we have, the humidity level is quite high. The results will be more accurate in these conditions. The last histogram is for energy production. For this dataset, we have more instances where there is a low energy output than a high one. We can also check which variables have the greatest impact on the target variable by calculating the input target correlations. In this case, the temperature has a very strong relation to the energy generated by the plant. The higher the temperature, the lower the energy production. After analyzing the data, we can build a model to predict the target variable. For that, we must go to the Neural Network tab. There are certain default values for the perceptron layers, number of neurons, and activation functions. We can change those, but for now we will leave it as it is. Let's create and visualize the neural network. This diagram means that we introduce four inputs and the neural network gives one output. The next step is to train our model by searching for the parameters that will fit it to our specific data. There are different types of error, regularization methods, and optimization algorithms. After training the neural network, we will get a graph that shows how the error decreases. We must also pay attention to the selection error, which is 0.06 for this example. Our model is better the closer this error is to zero, and a value of 1 would entail that the model is predicting on the mean. If we want to improve the performance of our neural network, we can proceed to the Model Selection tab. Using the Neuron Selection will optimize the number of neurons that the model has in order to obtain better predictions. In this case, the selection error is minimal already, so we will not use this feature. To see how well the neural network can predict the energy generated by a power plant, we will perform testing analysis. In approximation problems, the best way to visualize the model's performance is to make a linear regression analysis. This will plot the real value of the target variable against the predicted values. 
If the model was perfect, the regression line would have a slope value of 1 and an intercept of 0. In our case, we have a very good correlation coefficient of 0 0.96. Another testing method is visualizing the error histograms. We can see here the distribution of the error values. This figure shows that most of the error values are close to 0. If we calculate the error statistics, we will see that the mean percent error is 4%. This means that our model predicts the energy output of a power plant with an error of only 4%. Finally, we can go to the model deployment section and calculate specific outputs. We introduce the environmental variables and the exhaust vacuum. and we will obtain the energy production that the model predicts for this case. This tells us whether it is profitable to set the plant to work. Another option is to plot the directional output. It shows how the target variable depends on the inputs. We can see that a small change lowering the temperature would improve the performance of the plant greatly. However, it might be easier to reduce the pressure of the exhaust steam. This would also mean an increase in the energy production. It is possible to write the mathematical expression of the model or to export it to different programming languages such as Python or C. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, this tutorial helped you make the most of Neural Designer. Subscribe to our channel for more content on machine learning.